Supreme Court judges have boycotted a welcoming ceremony for new Chief Justice Tim Carmody in an unprecedented and extraordinary snub. The state's new top judge broke down while addressing his family over the ongoing controversy. It was a full house, but a very lonely front bench. Usually filled with two rows of Supreme Court judges, the absence was looming and large. Aside from Justice Peter Flanagan, who was welcomed along with Chief Justice Tim Carmody, not one Supreme Court judge turned up. The keen-eyed among you may notice that there are fewer judges sitting here than might have been expected in favour of a distinctly low-key more personal and more informal affair. Publicly, the Chief Justice was keeping up appearances. Well, I thought the turnout was overwhelming. But the unprecedented snub didn't sit well with many of the guests who did show up. We're supposed to respect these people, that they could behave so disgracefully really is really quite sad. Yeah, look, I think that's very disappointing. Despite the ongoing controversy, it seems the new Chief Justice isn't going anywhere, promising to work hard and be a fierce and formidable warrior fighting for the independence of the courts. The Bar Association pledged their support for the new leader, urging everyone to move forward. But that controversy is, or at least should now, be in the past. At one point, Chief Justice Carmody appeared to become emotional, choked up as he apologised to his family for the distress his appointment has caused them. Especially my wife and family, <coughs> today and every day. I have learned a valuable life lesson. To be truly free, you have to forget what other people think or say about you. Tessa Scott, Nine News.